Mini Habits by Stephen Guise. Have you been wondering what the book Mini Habits is about but haven't got around to read it? In this video we are going to summarize the book and extract all the core messages. Hey it's Emma from 5 Minute Summary where we cover the core messages of books and contents in 5 minutes. If you are new here or find this content valuable make sure you click that subscribe button, let's get into it. When someone does a little it is infinitely bigger and better than doing nothing. Doing a little bit every day has a greater impact than doing a lot on one day. We're quick to blame ourselves for lack of progress but slow to blame our strategies. Every great accomplishment rests on the foundation of what came before it. When you trace it back, you'll see one small step that started it all. When you invest in yourself in key areas like fitness and learning, you tend to do it in other areas too. When you add good habits into your life, it illuminates another possible path, restores your confidence, and gives you hope. A mini habit is basically a much smaller version of a new habit you want to form. The foundation of the mini habit system is in small steps. A mini habit is a very small positive behavior that you force yourself to do every day. The only way to create habits is to teach the rest of your brain to like what the prefrontal cortex wants. Motivation is unreliable because it's based on how you feel, and we've known for centuries that human feelings are fluid and unpredictable. As a behavior begins its transition into habit you will become less emotional about it, it will even begin to seem boring and mundane. The mini habit strategy is forcing yourself to take one to four small strategic actions every day, these actions are too small to fail and too small to skip for special occasions. Make a quick list of habits you'd like to have at some point. Once you've listed your habits, identify why you want them, but don't stop there, ask why again. Continue to ask why until it becomes circular and repetitive, which means that you've found the core. The two common habit cues are time-based and activity-based. Small steps get us started and allow us to build momentum towards a meaningful goal, but it works the other way too, if you allow yourself small concessions, soon enough you'll find them growing against your will. These are 8 small steps to big change. Choose your mini habits and habit plan. Use the Y drill on each mini habit. Define your habit cues. Create your reward plan. Write everything down. Think small. Meet your schedule and drop high expectations. And watch for signs of habit. Here are five signs that a behavior is a habit. No resistance, it feels easier to do the behavior than not to do it, identity. You now identify with the behavior and would feel completely confident saying, such as I read books or I'm a writer. Mindless action, you'll engage in the behavior without making an executive decision, you won't think, okay, I've decided to go to the gym, you'll just gather your things and go because it's Tuesday, or because it feels like it's time. You don't worry about it, starting out, you might worry about missing a day or quitting early, but when a behavior is habit, you know that you'll be doing it unless there's an emergency. Normalization, habits are non-emotional, you're not going to be excited that you're really doing it. Once it is habit, when a behavior makes the transition to normalcy, it's habit. Lastly habits are boring, good habits are not exciting, they're just good for you, you'll be more excited about life because of your habits, but don't expect it with the behavior itself. Here are 8 mini habit rules. Never ever cheat. Be happy with all progress. Reward yourself often, especially after a mini habit. Stay level-headed. If you feel strong resistance, back off and go smaller. Remind yourself how easy this is. Never think a step is too small. The last habit mini rule is to put extra energy and ambition toward bonus reps. If you enjoy this video and find it valuable, click the like button and subscribe to the channel, make sure to also check out the other videos in the personal development and investing series where you will find more 5-minute summaries of amazing books. I'll see you on the next one.